Hello everybody, nice to be with you again. Uh, today I want to talk about the phenomena uh, Donald Trump. Well, everybody knows Donald Trump is the American president, yeah, and right now uh, because of the election and the claim of the election uh, fraud, uh, it's still a lot of uh, news and reporting around Donald Trump. So I just want to share with you my uh, experience or my understanding or my uh, developing uh, impression of this person, Donald Trump. You see, uh, to four or five years ago, when Donald Trump became known, you know, when he was the, the president uh, uh, campaign uh, candidate, yeah, 2015 or something like that. So, you know, so after a while, I got the impression of this guy, oh, you know, seems to be not so good guy, huh? because uh, from the beginning I only uh, also read uh, media report about him. Yeah? Uh, it doesn't matter almost uh, which media, any major media, New York Times or Frankfurt Allgemeine, uh, uh, or Washington Post or, or, or uh, Süddeutsche in, in Germany, yeah? all talk most, mostly negative about him. And one day, uh, actually, uh, me and also my wife, we, we thought that this, you know, this, this, we cannot just believe in what they say. So let's, let's uh, you know, ha have a check ourselves. So, you know, it's always a good uh, practice, in my opinion, to get first-hand information, not always, you know, to learn about a person said by or claimed by other people. Better to listen to the person directly. So, of course, I don't have a personal connection with uh, Donald Trump. So, what we did is uh, I, I searched in internet and looked for only full-length speech of Donald Trump. You know, no editing, no cutting, nothing. From first minute to last minute, his original full-length speech. I remember I listened uh, then to his speech uh, uh, about religious freedom, his speech in the United Nations, his speech in Poland, and so on. Maybe five, six such speeches. It took a lot of time, but it's worth. Uh, why? Because after I listened to Donald Trump directly, full length, no cutting, no adding, no comment from any other people, I got another picture of this person, same Donald Trump, but totally different picture compared to the picture I got first from the, ma the mainstream media. So that was an alarming thing. And then, of course, I was alerted. So then I started to see clear, clear evidence that the, the mainstream media are manipulating me and maybe you and maybe many of us about Donald Trump. I give you some example. Donald Trump said NATO is obsolete. I remember he said it in the very beginning when he just became, or before actually, before he became president, also in the beginning of his presidency. And what was, what was the reporting then from the mainstream media? Well, it says Donald Trump saying uh, we don't need NATO. And in Germany, in many European uh, mainstream media, you will see, oh, we in Europe, we have to look after our own security. We cannot rely on America because this Donald Trump, he think NATO is obsolete, you know, he doesn't want to have NATO anymore. But then when I dig into the, the fact that the, the thing is not true. Yeah, first of all, what is true is he did claim uh, or he did uh, re require uh, the other NATO uh, member states to pay more money because they all promised 2% of the GDP. And if you haven't paid that much, then you haven't kept your promise. So he was pushing Germany and so other European countries to pay more. So then I say, hey, if he doesn't want to have NATO, why he pushed uh, other member states to pay more? <laughs> well, when, he, when he do this, that means he cares about the survival, <laughs> the existence of NATO, right? And actually, I understand later, when he said absolute, he meant that NATO need to be renewed 
Yeah? It is because NATO is not a secret. NATO was formed or is funded with an assumed enemy, and that was Soviet Union, yeah? to protect Europe and um, America, North America, against the eventual aggression from so communist Soviet Union. And Donald Trump was the opinion already five years ago that Soviet, there's no more Soviet, Russia, Russia is not our enemy or, or, or uh, threat number one. And threat number one was China. But at that time, Donald Trump didn't want to upset too many people by saying China. Yeah? But I understand it is what he meant. And later, when you see what he did, it's exactly correct. Yeah? He just wants to reform NATO so that we can better protect ourselves from poten potential threat from China. I can give you another even more clear example. I remember very well, actually, I heard Donald Trump was saying when I'm watching a, a, a press conference, he was telling, he was criticizing uh, CNN and other major media being fake news media. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. Because they have no sources, they just make them up when there are none. He actually even say, uh, the biggest enemy of our country is the fake news media. And guess what was reported the day after in, in, in New York Times and in Washington Post and so on? Or, or, yeah? It says, Donald Trump said, our country's biggest enemy is the media. I mean, that is called manipulation. He never said the media, he said the fake news media. It's a big, big difference. Yeah? So, and, and, you know, you can go on forever. They, they, a lot of people blame Donald Trump of being an incompetent president because he accepted a telephone call from the president of Taiwan and talked 50 minutes with her. Never happened in 47 years before that. What's wrong with that? Everybody screamed at him, but he was right. Because, as he said, Taiwan is the only democratic part of China. So what's wrong to talk to this person? Huh? And you can keep on for, I don't want to continue all this example now. And if you, sometime, you know, you get closer to the truth when after a certain period of time, you look back, yeah? And then you see some clear picture. Now, when I look back in the four years of presidency of, of Donald Trump, what has happened? Well, the, his opponents, Democrats, maybe not just the Democrat, behind the Democrat, there may be also other forces, yeah? Uh, I mean, all, ma many mainstream medias joined this campaign against Donald Trump, yeah? And also probably the, 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 the big tech company. And what was that? Well, they claim that he won the election to 2016 is only because Russian helped him. There was a Russian collusion. And they spent two years to investigate him. 500 people were interviewed huh, by the investigator. Huh? I think someone called Müller or something like that. And so on. Spending total, I think, $48 million for that investigation. And what was the conclusion? He has no collusion with Russia. And then they started the next campaign, uh, impeachment, and tried to get rid of him as president. And it turned out also zero evidence, zero evidence. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have to, you know, keep our eye open and, you know, not, not, be, not be manipulated. We have to be aware that the mainstream media is not just an information source. They are much more an opinion manipulator. So this is exactly what is happening right now too. I mean, it is for me there are now enough evidence. Yeah, if you if you have time, spend some time to listen to Donald Trump's latest speech. He made a speech 
uh, I think only a couple of days ago, uh, and he said in the beginning of his speech that this speech can be the most important speech uh, in my time of presidency. Yeah, so and that is important to listen to. And in his speech, he stated very systematically, very clearly, all the fraud, all the manipulation behind the election. You know, uh, he, he, he tell us about all the witness who courageously uh, stand up and step forward in the hearing of uh, Pennsylvania uh, Parliament uh, or Congress uh, and, and also in uh, Georgia. You know, long list of strong evidence, not only witness. Yeah? For example, in Georgia, it was a witness telling people that, you know, uh, she was working with the uh, votes counting. And then uh, so uh, the, 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 the administrator the told now. everybody, now you guys can go home. It's uh, already uh, half past 12 at midnight, yeah? So, and come back tomorrow, even, uh, tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock or whatever. Yeah? So, everybody left, but then she discovered that four people stayed. And, by some means, she managed to take video film on these four people, what they were doing. And you could clearly see that when everybody has left, these four people went under the tablecloth of a big table and pulled out many suitcases. And in the suitcases was thousands and thousands of ballots. Yeah? And they put these ballots into the counting machine very quickly, working two and a half hours, putting in all these mysterious ballots. So why? Why do this? Maybe for you, who are my regular uh, uh, watchers, you, you can remember the day before election, on the 4th of November, I mentioned, I follow, I follow up the whole development. I could see, the, you know, from uh, about 7 o'clock in the evening in New York time, they started counting, and Donald Trump was clearly leading for example, in Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin, and, and Georgia, and so on, yeah? And, and then, uh, right after midnight, their local time, then they stopped counting for some un unknown reason. And actually, Donald Trump said, don't stop, yeah? You are not allowed to do things like that. But they stopped the counting. And then, a few hours later, four o'clock in the morning, they started counting again. And what happened is, uh, suddenly, Joe Biden got more than 100,000, I think 140,000, for example, in Wisconsin, uh, more vote. At 3.42 in the morning, there was this. It was a massive dump of votes. Mostly Biden, almost all Biden. And to this day, everyone's trying to figure out, where did it come from? But I went from leading by a lot to losing by a little. And that's right here. That's at 3.42 in the morning. That's Wisconsin. A terrible thing. And they have evidence for many, many fraud. Not only those I mentioned before. And the worst of it, as I mentioned in my last episode, and we are experiencing a digital coup. And this coup is they use voting system, computerized voting system, which is manipulable. You can manipulate the computer so that it shows another result than the original one. So you can just put in, give in command, give Dr. Joe Biden 15% uh, more votes and take away 15 from Donald Trump and so on. You know, with the computer, it's easy if you, if you, if you have the key, right? So, uh, so what I'm saying is, we have to watch out. I understand uh, the, the media claim that Donald Trump is terrible. He refused to, to accept the election result. But, I mean, come on. This, the election is full of fraud. And, and there are very clear, strong evidence and witnesses. So now, assuming that this is correct, so are we going to accept a manipulated, biased, and uh, 
fraudulent election, because that means we accept to sabotage the whole democratic system. So I agree with Donald Trump. He is not defending his own presidency. He is defending the most important principle of American funding, democracy, and fair and correct election. Thank you for today. Bye-bye.